Hello. Public and private clubs are gaining traction day by day with cost and operational efficiency they bring. Open source building blocks of cloud networking, OpenStack, OpenDaylight, OpenFlow, and OpenVSwitch have become also more and more popular as more tech people would like to know more about them. Although they have been around a while, they still confuse people, especially their relations with each other. I will cover this topic today and try to help you to see interrelation between them. Let's start with OpenStack as it sits at the top of cloud resource management stack. OpenStack is an open source cloud management system which provides uniform API to provision, compute, network and storage sources. OpenStack makes infrastructure as code possible. It has plugin ecosystem provided by different communities. Those plugins do real work under the cover. They hide the complexity of automation and orchestration of provisioning work. You may have compute, network and storage hardware from different vendors such as Dell, Cisco or Arista that constitute the underlying infrastructure. But they are presented to OpenStack as a pool of number of CPUs, amount of RAM, number of networks, IP addresses or simple hard drive or object block storage space. In this high level view we see important services and plugins of OpenStack. OpenStack allows you to consume those pool of resources. You can select a virtual machine with resource specs, spin it up, consume and terminate as you do same on AWS or Azure. There are also commercial versions that are built on top of open source version to answer enterprise demands such as single pane monitoring, rolling upgrades, security and role based access. Now let's start defining SDN to understand relation between OpenStack and other open source technologies that are subject to our presentation. Software defined networking is an approach to networking that uses application programming interfaces to communicate with underlying hardware infrastructure and direct traffic on the network. STN allows having programmable central control of network traffic via controller without requiring physical access to network devices. STN can be defined as architecture for a programmable network, whereas OpenStack is architecture for programmable clouds. Programmable clouds, compute systems may or may not use SDN. OpenStack supports integration to SDN controller and traditional networks with existing protocols together. This view helps you to understand the relation between mentioned open source technologies. OpenStack is at the application layer. Open Daylight sits at control layer. Virtual and physical network devices comprise infrastructure layer. Now let's see the details of Open Daylight. Open Daylight is an open source SDN controller that provisions the network policies and sends that information to the physical and virtual switches. It also maintains policies. In the event of change in the network, it recomputes that policies and sends them again to switches. Open Daylight, a software package, provides northbound APIs to OpenStack and southbound interfaces to switches. By means of Open Daylight northbound APIs, OpenStack can control physical and virtual switches. If you go back to STN high level view, you will see the interface between control and infrastructure layer where OpenFlow protocol is introduced. OpenFlow is the protocol used to program virtual switches on hypervisor and traditional physical switches that supports OpenFlow protocol. By means of this protocol, STM controller communicates and manages virtual and physical switches. Now, OpenV switch comes to the picture. By means of OpenV switch software package, you can create virtual switches on hypervisors or virtual machines. OpenV switch is the implementation of virtual switch on the hypervisor that exposes OpenFlow protocol for flow of information and uses the information provided via this protocol to perform packet forwarding decisions. So, Open Daylight performs network resource management through OpenV switches and physical switches by communicating them with OpenFlow. 
Open Daylight in conjunction with OpenStack provides end-to-end -end automation and orchestration. OpenStack has hooks that allow integration of OpenVC with Open Daylight and this interaction is achieved via southbound APIs. I hope that I could be able to give you some insight about mentioned open source technologies that are pillars of modern cloud networking and services. Thank you for listening.